welcome back to our second video in our fatty acid profile list um, today we're going to look at ricinoleic acid which is found in castor oil and that is the only place you can find it it is very interesting it's a very unique fatty acid because it's only found in one specific oil um, you can't find it in anything else you can go and search there's nothing else that does have um, ricinoleic acid in it now castor oil just by itself is a uh, absolutely amazing anti-inflammatory uh, oil um, I use it on bruises and cuts and everything um, if there's a little bit of inflammation I put it in a piece of cotton cloth and just bandage it on, a, on, on the um, place that was being hurt and um, leave it overnight and it really does reduces inflammation quite a lot okay in soap making this little guy is like the captain of the team he is the one that will motivate everything else in there. By itself, a captain without a team is nothing. Um, it's not even a captain anymore. It's just, if you don't have a team, then you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> That's a little bit the same with ricinoleic acid or castor oil in soap making. Um, if you make a single oil soap and you just use castor oil, you get this rubbery, um, funny feeling piece of soap. Um, it's not really foaming. Um, yeah, it's just, it's weird. But the moment when you add between 5, uh, even 2%, if you add 2% of castor oil to your soap uh, recipe, 5% even better, you can go up to 10%, but I don't think I will even go more than that because with even 5%, you will definitely um, notice results. This thing just boosts the bubbly, um, the moisture, uh, everything. It, it just makes your soap so much better. So let me just quickly check if I've got everything in here. Um, okay, yeah, that is the important thing that I wanted to tell you about it. Um, it doesn't have a very high INS number, but it does accelerate that trace. So if you are using 5% of more in your oil and you want to make swelly soaps and you're struggling because this stuff is tracing very fast, um, this is your, um, your castor oil might be the culprit in here. Um, castor oil, if you look at the soap making calculator, it doesn't give you any indication that this thing is going to trace quite fast, but it does. So just keep that in mind. And that is all there is about ricinoleic acid and castor oil. It was just quick and easy. And yeah, it's an awesome thing. I use it in nearly, okay, I'm lying. I'm using it in, in, in every batch of soap that I make. Um, yeah, because I love it. And even just the 2%, it's just amazing. So, okay, enjoy your soap making and be blessed until I see you guys the next time. Keep well.